Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going with Q4 of the bi-weekly contest 88, number of pairs satisfying inequality. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. So I did solve this problem in about three minutes. Um, uh, yeah. Um, the, and to be honest, the core part of it is that I've done similar problems before. Um, and actually, if you watch me solve it during the, the live portion of this, um, where I solve it during the contest, um, I actually just wrote this out. I, I well, this part I copy and paste, and then I, and then the idea here is to manipulate it so that we get all the i's and j's in the same price, um, which we do here. Basically, I add numbers of j on both sides. I subtract this on both sides to get this formula, um, and then now, now that we have i on each side, we can iterate on the i's and then do a binary search on the things that we've done before. Um, what's my general idea? And that's basically what happened. Um, yeah, and this is why, you know, the code being so short is why I can do it so quickly. And even then, I kind of forgot which side I was doing, so it took a little bit of time to sort that out. And you could see that in the contest, because I would should have, or could have been faster anyway. I don't know if I should have been, but, but yeah. Um, and it's just the number of n. This is a sorted list that allow us to keep track, um, allow us to keep track of, um, yeah, allow us to keep track of a list that's sorted so that we could binary search on it. Um, I wonder if I need it per se. I don't know if I need it, but uh, yeah. In other languages, for example, if you're doing C++, um, I think you there are um, all the statistic trees, and in Java, I believe there are some uh, tree e things to uh, you do that. Um, in in Python, I think sorted list is the easier way to do it. Yeah, and then we just have count, and then here, I mean, this is just so this part should be you know basically after you're done with a number you put it in here so that it can be binary searched later. Um, so this is the I part and this part is the J part of looking basically, I mean, because the number, the list is sorted, what we're doing is now saying, okay, how many numbers or how many I's are there that are, that, you know, this, these are J's. How many I's are there that are smaller than or equal to this number, right? And that's where, where we do a bisect right on to calculate. And, and then can't we just, you know, that's the size of it. I thought I had to do n minus greater or something like that, and it took me a little bit of time. But yeah, uh, actually, I guess I don't even need this. Uh, or, you know, this could be one line. So you got to win like a five line code for this. Anyway, yeah, so sorted list is going to be uh, log n every time, but everything else is constant, right? Well, sorry, this is also log n, but you know what I mean. Everything not related to sorted list is constant. So this is going to be n log n time and also n space. For the sorted list um that's pretty much all i have for this one let me know what you think i maybe i've gone a little bit fast but the idea is that um if you have trouble kind of figuring out this one um well first this part this part does come up here and there on competitive stuff i don't know if you would say need on an interview but it does come up and then here i i think if you get confused about the binary search um maybe start with you know, a for loop, maybe for like J, well, in this case, this would be J, so this is actually confusing, but, um, so maybe we could do something like this, yeah. uh, but the, the J's become I's later, but that's fine, maybe we could do something like that, where, uh, <clears throat> where, you know, uh, I mean, obviously, this is not great code, but but if this is greater than or equal to uh, SL sub I, then greater, and of course, this wouldn't be a sorted list in this case, or it doesn't have to be anyway, and then greater increment by one. Um, and then, of course, once you have something like this, you're like, oh, if I just, if I just storage it, you know, stored in a thing that I can binary search on, then now I can do it in over of log n instead or something like that, right? So yeah, so that's basically the idea. Um, I think the two, like I said, the two parts, one is kind of separating out, you know, so that we can do each index together. And then the second part is just about um, this, these two for loops and then optimizing it to a sorted list. Um, yeah, uh, let me put it back here just so that you can see what, uh, 
the correct code is. I believe this is the correct code. So yeah. Um, well, except for that, I oh no, I I uh, yeah. I mean, except for that, I uh, can convert the i's into j's. So don't copy it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But that is all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button. Oh wait, uh, you should hit it again. And you can watch me solve it live in the contest now. <sighs> what a silly mistake on Q1. I need to sleep more. Yeah, it should be doable, but yeah. I don't know why I misread that actually, but No, yeah. That includes that one or not. No, uh, I'm trying to do it. I have this number in here, but okay. How many numbers is greater than? Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's contest and these problems and my explanation. See you later. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. Take care and goodbye.